Kidney Stone Analysis This test is performed to evaluate the composition of a kidney stone. As this test is ordered when a stone has passed through or has been removed from your urinary tract in order to determine the cause of its formation and to guide treatment. The sample required is a stone or stones filtered from your urine or surgically removed from your urinary tract by a healthcare practitioner. The kidneys are part of the urinary tract, which also consists of two ureters, the bladder and the urethra. The kidneys filter waste out of the blood and produce urine, which is transported from the kidneys to the bladder through the tube-like ureters. Urine is eliminated from the bladder through the urethra as a continual daily process. Kidney stones are small, hard masses that form within the kidneys and cause problems either because they grow large enough to obstruct urine flow or because they become dislodged or break off and begin to travel from a kidney through the ureter. They can cause temporary obstruction but also stretch, irritate or damage the walls of the ureters. This movement can cause abrupt, extremely severe pain that may be intermittent or continuous. Many stones will eventually pass out of the body in the urine, but some are too large or have too irregular a shape for the body to expel. This may need to be surgically removed or to be pulverized in place using targeted shock waves. Then the smaller particles and fragments that remain can then pass through the urinary tract. Stones can develop for several reasons, but the most common is because there is a high concentration of a particular chemical in the urine that is no longer soluble and precipitates to form crystals. Depending on how much and what type of material crystallizes and where it forms, a kidney stone may be round, sharp and pointy, or irregular. It can range in size from a grain of sand to bigger than a golf ball. The composition of the stone depends upon what excessive amounts of chemicals are present. It may be all one chemical compound or have different chemicals in different layers. Not everyone who drinks too little liquid or who has an excess amount of a chemical in their urine will form kidney stones. Some stones will form in people for other reasons. Those who have had one kidney stone are at an increased risk for developing additional stones.